A warm welcome. Blue is the colour. Football is the game, as the old song used to go. We're here at Stamford Bridge tonight in West London. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It is Chelsea versus Leicester City. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. That's not a bad ball. Only well, failed to get it away properly. Well, he's got to be disappointed with that pass. Here's the lineup for Chelsea. Edouard Mendy starts in goal. Thiago Silva plays with Antonio Rudiger in central defence. And Golo Conte starts alongside Matteo Kovacic in central midfield. And it's two strikers up front who'll look to provide the goal scoring threat. And a fine stop. They take it short. He cuts it back. Well, tremendous block. Alonso. Rudiger. Werner. And a goal it is! No long wait for the opener today. Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. And back underway. 1-0 it is. Well, it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? Well, deemed to have been a cautionable offence. Well, no question about it. He deserved his booking there. Ricardo Pereira. Daka. Well, no luck keeping possession. Mateo Kovacic. Werner with it now. Rather than a free kick, it's advantage Chelsea. Good use of the ball, but can they trouble the defence? Werner, could be! And a decent save, full credit. Can someone get on the end of this? Not away completely. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Well, the chance looked to be on, but found himself offside. I have it. Oh, big opportunity. 
Oh, it's a penalty. Just what they wanted to avoid, given the scoreline. Well, no card, just a warning and a fair few protestations. Well, not every foul is a yellow card. I think the referee is right here. Can they extend their lead? The keeper going in the right direction and saving it. So the corner played into the box. Threat over for now, it seems. Can they take advantage? Madison. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Well, he's allowed it to go over the touchline, so a throw in. He could pick out a teammate. And fired against the crossbar. Just the clearance that was needed. Well, it was certainly a chance to get back into the game. And you have to say they're a bit unfortunate. But they do need to finish off one of these chances. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. Really sitting deep now. That could be problematic. As eyes for goal. And he's kept it out. Fully stretched. Somehow reaching it. Who can he pick out? Well, no end product. Prepare to take on the shot. And the keeper was up to the task. Well, trying to build ahead of steam. Another corner it'll be. Playing it in. And he succeeds in scraping it off the line. No problems for the keeper. Mount. Timo Werner. And Mount. And the first 45 minutes have come and gone here at Stamford Bridge. We certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, I really liked his first half display. He was certainly the most influential player on the field. So underway again. Chelsea with the lead, but absolutely no room for complacency. Conte. James and Golo Conte. Here's Kovacic. Read it well. James Madison. Now Ricardo Pereira has it. And possibilities here. Determined block. Teammate and support. This looks promising. Well, a really single minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Mount. Conte has it. Reese James. Havertz. Havertz and intercepts again. 
And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Well, a badly timed run, just a fraction offside. Substitution, Substitution time it is. Number 11, Timo Werner, to be replaced by number 9, Romelu Lukaku. James. Intercepting it intelligently. Tielemans, but well, he could run onto it here. He just needs to keep a cool head. The clearance wasn't decisive. Danger averted for now. Rhys James. And Golo Conte. Conte. Moving into the advanced position. Deciding to go inside. Havertz! Flinging himself at it, the keeper. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. And a short corner, let's see. Cuts it back. A really sound goalkeeping. Well, that's such a good save, isn't it? How did he keep that one out? Havertz. But it stopped a promising attack in its tracks. And you wouldn't be surprised if there's a card coming out here. And a yellow card, it's going to be Stewart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long. Well, they've decided to make a change. Number eight, Mateo Kovacic. Coming onto the pitch, number five, Jorginho. And a goal! Almost bewitching in its beauty. Excellent technique. Well, just look at this again. Hardly any movement on the ball, but he still has enough control to get it over the wall and into the back of the net. It's a clever finish, you have to say. Well, a second goal for them here. Ndidi. Barnes. Now Ndidi, Iannaccio, Ndidi, Ndidi, he'll be delighted to have won the ball having made that difficult challenge. But in the closing phase, and Stuart, Chelsea have been tremendous today. Well, they've controlled most of the game, haven't they? Their one and two touch passing has been sharp, the movement's been bright and they've scored some good goals. They just need to keep their concentration through to the final whistle. Good looking ball, there could be a chance now. Oh, lovely incisive pass. The timing was perfect, it had to be. Tielemans. Three minutes of added time here. 
Marcus Alonso. Now with Jorginho. Well, you can absolutely sense the frustration growing in the opposition camp. They can't get near the ball. A chance for him to get in behind, maybe. Lukaku in position. And they deal with the threat this time. Full time then, the referee's whistle, and it's a win for Chelsea. That's the big headline, Stuart. Yes, Derek, fairly comfortable in the end, wasn't it? Thought they controlled the middle of the park for the most part, and going forward, there were some really nice, incisive plays as well. Good result for them. Well, there's a sound reason why we're focusing on him. He's made his presence felt in attack, Stuart. Well, I thought he was excellent. Not only did he score a good goal, but his general play was outstanding. He certainly played a major part in their win here today.